there are quite a few things built into Python. Maybe you're new to the language and are coming from a language that's much more focused on OOP, Java and so forth, and coming into Python and thinking, oh, I need to roll my own classes. Often classes are just created to store data inside them and Python's built-in alternatives, name tuples are a great choice there or data classes that came along in Python 3.7 are much simpler and more concise. Both name tuple and data classes are cleaner and automatically provide methods like dunder init and dunder repr and also comparison methods, again, without you having to add any extra boilerplate to them. Named tuples, you would import them from the collections module and data classes actually come from the data classes module. Stateless utility functions, if your class has methods but has no state or no instance attributes, it probably doesn't need to be a class and you could just use a function. If you're grouping a bunch of constants together, a good choice might be to not build it into a class, maybe make them into a module. Building out your own module allows for the reusability there and utilizes namespaces. If you're managing state with simple structures, you probably could just use a dictionary or a list. Again, they're gonna show some examples in the article to learn a little bit more there. For simple state management, dictionaries or lists could just suffice. Classes are overkill when you simply just wanna store stuff that's mutable. Simple one-off operations, you could look at using lambdas or comprehensions. Performing simple operations, lambdas can just really simplify code compared to defining methods within classes to do that. General advice here, avoiding complexity built in libraries, Python standard libraries, really extensive. Before writing your own class, you might wanna check if one of these requirements that you have is already covered. He gives examples of if you need a custom class to manage, or maybe you wanna serialize configurations, Python has a built-in config parser or the JSON module. Another reason for learning the standard library, there's things like iter tools. We've mentioned func tools many times, or just generally learning well, what are the data structures that go beyond a dictionary and a tuple and a list and a set inside of Python. You know, why might I use some of these things and how can they give me the advantages of these sort of already built-in objects ready to go and, and when you actually need a class, classes are more powerful and useful, especially when you need to encapsulate state and behavior. Your objects have clear behavior methods associated with their data. So it's kind of that connection between the two. Maybe you're modeling complex hierarchical structures, inheritance, composition. 